Hey guys, Lord of Flames here, and I'm the director, producer, script writer, even editor. Hello, I am Jeremy Ledger, and I played the guy who dies in the movie Halloween Night. Hello, I'm Harry Flukey B, I remember it, you don't have to, and I'm going to talk to you about Halloween, Halloween Night, which is a film that was uploaded on on a lot a YouTube channel called Log of Flame. This is the short film we made called Halloween Night. It's a one short film that's not connected to Jeffrey Two or anything else. Just one type of short film for Jeffrey Keaton series. Or rather he call him Jeff the Killer. A lot of the movie is mostly taking place at Spokane. It's mostly with this guy who's mostly getting himself ready for Halloween to decorate everything and set up candy for the kids. But mostly he keeps seeing these type of breaking news stuff about missing disappearances of any people around the town. Because it's really pissing him off that he hates all these type of news and everything kind of messed up everything around Spokane and ruined the Halloween season or something like that. And mostly he tried to ignore it, tried to make any Halloween decorations or anything, until there will be a lot of things about that Jeffrey Keaton will soon appear. People think he's dead. No, he's not. <laughs> oh, 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 he's not. Uh, the plot's basically this guy who was at his house watched the news about how there's a murder going on, no, but the murder's happening, and and the and the guy, the guy I play. He gets killed by the murderer. Some hilarious fight things going on, and it's like one of the funniest things I've actually seen in my life that I've been in. And the plot of the film, and um, it's kind of simple, really. One, one which I kind of have to explain, but it's about it's mostly about the guy watching TV, and it turns out that Jeff has been stalking him. And the rest of the video, the rest of the video is just the man running away from Jeff, and that's it. I won't give anything else away, but that's basically that's basically the plot. I mean, not to sound rude or anything, but I'm I gen I'm genuinely stuck on this one. I don't know how to give a detailed plot without saying just the guy was running from Jeff. That's it. <laughs> Well, maybe want to do the movies because my friend Brandon said he needed help with the movies. I said, "Yeah, sure," because I have, and I have nothing else to do. So I said, "Sure, I'll do it." I kind of didn't want to do it because I got the guy who dies, and I died like fifty times in the films. Even even the parts where I don't play the guy who dies. It's mostly really fun for once. Try to make something new, with while without focusing on Jeffrey too. It's not like it was just like, had to wait until 2020 and I'll make new films. And uh, mostly I decided to be a Jeffrey Keaton again. Not another type of character or anything, but rather a Jeffrey Keaton, but rather a body actor so I have a voice actor to be in it. His name is Harry Flute. He's another big fan of Jeffrey Keaton series. I, I would rather ask Patrick for once, but no, I'd rather just have Harry Flu TV to be in it because I saw his voice acting type of thing and it worked really good. I mostly have Harry Flu as the voice actor and myself as the body actor for Jeffrey Keaton. It worked so well. We got everything set. We have Jeremy as this main character is going to get killed. <laughs> it's going to get killed, I mean. And while Jeffrey Keaton is going to enjoy it. I guess, I don't know what made me want to be in the film, but I never. But Lord of Flame just told me how good my Jeffrey Keaton impression was and he asked me something, he asked me about being 
he asked me if he wanted to be in, if I wanted to be in a film, and of course I said yes, but I didn't know what he actually meant, because I thought he meant like, um, I don't know, actually going to his house and dressing up in Jeffrey Keaton, but it turns out it, he actually meant, he actually, he actually meant recording my voice and sending it to him, which I thought was just as good. on this thing are people of people are missing. I wish you could stop for once. Jeez, I wanna wanna watch movies. Not report of the missing people. Sounds like a sounds like a plot of a terrible horror movie. Oh, 
What did I ever do to you? Uh oh. Um, what? Tell me now. What did I ever do to you, buddy? What did I drop you off at the baseball game or? Not right. I wish I didn't break that. Ha <laughs> ha. Gotcha. Let me see your face. Jeffrey! What are you doing here? Wait a minute. Run. Shut up. Okay, Kat. Go. Gotta be kidding me. Alright, cut. Action. Suck up. Ooh. That makes it go now. Action.
anyways, folks. Who is that laughing? Get the hell out of my news! <clears throat> recording, recording. In the, in the yard, in the yard news. In a building of high school at night has been In the air news in Spokane, police have been investigating of five missing teenagers in school. After what happened last night in a party, five students have been missing and their parents have been warning about what happened to them. But after hours later when police are investigating around the school, they only noticed blood around the gym. But what remains Carol's only find a window have been cracked. So, there will be reasons about the Jephthah killer has been alive. Only for what the remains of them with their packs and their tools. For what remains for why? Does it mean there's a burglar inside the school? Has been found? No one ever knows, but everybody soon makes so many theories that Jeffrey Keaton is the one who did. Who did, in fact, kill those kids. It's really strange how people have been gone missing to this past week, after what happened last year in Christmas. But in the air news, folks. After the air missing appearance on Randall's gothic birthday, the police have been investigating around the house. Only they found the wife's body has been murdered inside the shower, blood everywhere, but it seems there's a symbol covered on the wall. This symbol has been discovered every single time for the past week. We want to know why, because these symbols are from something else. We'll find out. Good day. Should have knocked with the angel of sleep. <laughs> we are news in Spokane. Police have been investigating of five missing teenagers in school. After what happened last night in a party, the five students have been missing and their parents have been warning about what happened to them. But after hours later when police are investigating around the school, they only noticed blood around the gym. Only for what the remains of them with their packs and their tools. For what remains for why? Does it mean there's a burglar inside the school? Has been found? No one ever knows. But everybody soon makes so many theories that Jeffrey Keaton is the one who did. Who did, in fact, kill those kids. It's really strange how people have been gone missing to these past weeks. After what happened last year in Christmas, in 2014. But in the air news, folks. After the air missing appearance on Randall Scott McMurphy, the police have been investigating around the house. Only they found the wife's body has been murdered inside the shower, blood everywhere, but it seems there's a symbol covered on the walls. This symbol has been discovered every single time for the past weeks. We all don't know why, because of these symbols are from something else. We'll find out in our time in the air news, folks. Have a good day.
My favorite part is probably when I was just running in the cemetery and bashing Brendan Smith, who played Jeff Keaton, the killer, with with a stick multiple times. And the, the fact that the stick broke was was actually my favorite part. I think that was not intentional at all. That was clear random. My very theme is like always. Mostly kill, but no. I rather choose a good thing about having some chase scenes. Because once you have something in your mind and you want something a little bit epic to show in the video that nobody haven't seen for quite some time. Not because of the chase scene, but some other places you can go to film. Because you always film in your house a lot recently, even your basement, your attic. But you never try and go somewhere else in public or somewhere else you want to do in private for once for your filming. So, in the cemetery, it's very good. I kind of like that scene when Jeremy is running around, yelling and screaming, freaking out, while Jeffrey Keaton is walking around the graves. Yeah, it's very good of seeing that type of scene for cemetery. Uh, what I like, I think what my fa my favorite scene in the film has to be. My favorite scene in the film has to be. I don't mean to be narcissistic, but it's when Jeffrey actually speaks and it's my voice coming out. Because I couldn't actually believe it was my voice on someone else's video. Now, it was actually fun to be in the movie because I get to have any... Because I get to have any form of the freedom I want when it comes to speech. Because when I was given the script, I decided to go, go out and live on it. For example, the fourth wall breaking was says the plot of a terrible horror movie, or uh, and uh, when I uh, and when I came to running, it was really fun. I inspired my running based off the Walking Phoenix Joker because that was one of the best movies I've seen in my life. And the fall scene was pure tension on my part, my behalf. We had to do it twice because the first time actually my belt buckle actually hurt my skin. So it's kind of painful, but I like managed to go through it. Well. I love it! I love the way how it used to be. I like the way that myself as Jeffrey Keaton again, but having someone else to be in, for once, as the voice of Jeffrey Keaton. I like the way how the movie goes too. I like the way how it used to be. I like the way how the film goes and have people help me. I love it. I love the way how it is. I love the way how it goes. Look, I guess... Like I said earlier, Lord of Flame just came to me and told me how good my Jeff Keaton impression was. And... I just said yes to an offer of being in a film. My final thoughts are, the film was really good and... I... Like, I'm not, sh I'm not sure if it was connected to his other Jeff Keaton film, Jeffrey or not, but it would be cool if it was, and I genuinely think Mr. Becky Kruger would be proud of us, of me and Lord of Flame. <laughs> because his film is really good. His Minecraft films are good, and Jeffrey Keaton films are good, and even a zombie film in good. That's my final thought on the film and the channel itself. So, I'm Harry Flickly here. Remember, you don't have to. Mm, well, my last thoughts. Well, here's the thing. Try to lock your doors, folks. Your windows, everything. Try to make sure you didn't get stuck killer who's been undead. Try to get yourself ready because you can't stop the horde. You can't stop this killer from attacking you because there's no way of attacking the angel killer of sleep. <laughs> because you're watching a video as filled, as filled some little smiles. <laughs> now, uh, my last thoughts for this might be, uh, the movie's good. You should give it a watch. My friend Brandon's most important. And, uh, that's it.
Alright, awesome. Hey guys, tonight, going out, 